Don't tell your mother Kiss one another Die for each other We're cool for the So, summer. what's up guys? Um to, I, In this one I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about Um Basically, about the, this organization or activist group, whatever you want to call it exactly, that you may have seen commercials of on TV. And that one being um, Truth Orange. Hashtag Truth Orange, whatever. Anyway, and these are typically people that for the last uh, several years they've actually been engaging in anti smoking rhetoric and for the most part have definitely been a source of great um, anti-smoking lobbying and stuff like that anti-smoking activism sort of that sort of stuff that's all well and good but in recent ads that I've been seeing they seem to be getting a bit more extremist I've spoken out about how it seems like they have tried too hard to demonize the issue and you know to try to you know, and make it socially unacceptable and stuff like that, and basically what I consider tantamount to bullying. And I, because I believe that, it, you know, the only way to really, you know, stop something is not really to declare war on it, not to demonize it or anything like that, but, you know, try to encourage other alternatives. The problem is, is that Truth Orange definitely does not seem like it cares for the alternative. In fact, ridiculously makes almost seems like it makes claims in which they seem to insinuate that uh, e-cigarettes and um, and uh, uh, vape pens are just as dangerous and that you know smoking hookah is just as dangerous and stuff like that and the, the you know these different alternatives and stuff like that are just as dangerous as you know as smoking you know a pack of cigarettes and I really don't seem to see the logic in that because I really think that they don't really seem to understand the whole concept of what goes on with these things. Yes, is are e-cigarettes probably a safer alternative? No. I mean, they are definitely a lot better than the tobacco products, but are they probably a safer alternative? Probably not, but they definitely are less addictive and less of an issue than having smoking a bunch of cigarettes because cigarettes have a lot of toxic chemicals in them. I think one of them is tan uh, tantamount to something that they put in like f um, fire retardant or something like that. And uh, so there's all kinds of nasty chemicals that are in cigarettes. Now in e-cigs they are primarily uh, nicotine. It's just pure just pure nicotine which is like which comes in like 0 0.24 0 0.18 0 0.112 0 0.06 0 0.01 that sort of BS so I mean it, they they definitely have a uh, uh, so, so they're definitely you can come down off them whereas cigarettes you cannot and they are a better alternative to that because essentially all that you're blowing out is water vapor you're not putting smoke or other toxic chemicals and stuff like that into the atmosphere. Now vape pens are just that. They're just pure water vapor. They come, you know, and like the e-cigs, they come in different flavors and stuff like that. And e uh, and vape pens are, are zero nicotine. So it's basically one of those things where you can just, you know, puff on them. I've, I've smoked, um, I've puffed on vape pens before, and I don't see any dangerous effects coming to my health because of it. And quite frankly, I don't necessarily believe that they should be exactly re taxed and regulated. But you know, it, the fact is that they are. There, there's a lot of places that are trying to tax and regulate them, and many places that already have. And personally, if if Truth Orange is against the taxation regulation of them, then by all means they have a right to be, and I fully would would support that. 
but it almost seems that in their anti-smoking rhetoric, they're trying to basically eliminate all smoking across the board. So, you know, and with that same logic, while then is, you know, is Truth Orange um, against pot smoking? Are they against vape pens? Are they complete you know are they completely against all smoking or just primarily tobacco smoke and are and if they are against vape pens and e-cigs is it more the idea of taxation and regulation or are they just completely against it because then that's where you have to raise the thing well are you completely against all smoking which includes pot smoking which i would not agree with them on i have my own reasons why i don't agree with them why I would not agree with somebody on who's anti pot smoking just as the same as I'm against somebody who's anti e cig or anti vape pen because anti um, e cigs and vape pens I personally believe are a better alternative and frankly are the future of where you know smoking really should be going and you know, the, this whole truth orange thing about, you know, the stuff that they bring to the table. And, and personally, I've smoked hookah before as well. I don't really see a problem with it. I've never really had an, had health risks or anything. I never had an addiction to, the, to whatever it was. So I really don't see your... I really don't see the logic in, in where they're going with it. You know, I think it's one of those things where it's almost like somebody who does smoke pot. If you haven't tried it, then how the hell can you be against it? So, you know, they're trying to claim, oh, well, Big Tobacco is making money off it. Big Tobacco was against e-cigarettes and vape pens from the start. Now, and even with taxation regulation, I think that Big Tobacco is pretty, you know, is not too thrilled that people are spending their money on that. So, yeah, my, my personal belief is that Truth Orange really needs to reevaluate the direction where they're going. You know, trying to attack alternatives and trying to go gung-ho, you know, anti-pot smoking social justice warriors out there is not the way to go. And certainly demonizing it, is, you know, demonizing a certain behavior is not going to make it stop. I mean, it's no different than declaring a war on drugs. It's it's not going to solve a goddamn thing. And it's like, yeah, we may be the generation to to complete to end smoking. We are. It, they need to get off their high horse on that. We are not going to be the generation that ends smoking. We will drastically reduce it, perhaps, but we will, but we will most likely move on to other alternatives, whether people are smoking pot, whether people are, um, are smoking e-cigs or, or puffing on e-cigs or puffing on, uh, the, um, vape pens, you know, we're going to replace it with something that's a healthier alternative that's, that's, you know, proven not to have any side effects or anything like that and is definitely proven to be a better alternative to, to tobacco smoke. So... Personally, I think that I personally just believe that Truth Orange really needs to reevaluate their whole thing because I personally don't believe we are going to be the generation that ends smoking. You, you're not going to fully eradicate any anything. I think we will definitely get to the point in our society where people will be like, "Oh, you still smoke cigarettes? You still smoke anything?" That yeah, it will become kind of a odd commodity, but I think people will still be smoking cigarettes. People will people have been smoking pot sort of you know pot and cannabis sort of related things since the beginning of time. People have been doing have been smoking tobacco since you know pretty much for years and years and years and years and years and, years and centuries and centuries. So, you know, like I say, you're not going to fully eradicate an entire thing, uh, an entire thing. You will drastically be able to reduce it, but will it ever go away? No. It's just like gun violence. You can drastically reduce crime, 
you can drastically reduce violence, but you're not going to completely eradicate it. It's impossible, and it's unrealistic to think you ever will do so. So, that's just my personal opinion. And I, my personal opinion is that Truth Warren should really reevaluate their whole thing, considering that they are more of a bourgeois, liberal sort of social justice warrior organization. And while they can claim all sorts of non-profits and stuff like that, they are basically making some form of profit and some and getting notoriety from the advertisements that they put out there that, you know, they obviously need money to fund these advertisements and they put all these different things out there. So obviously they are doing they are gaining some benefit benefit from this. That's not to try to discredit them, that is just simply trying to state a point that Truth Orange really needs to take a step back and reevaluate the message that they're trying to convey. That's simply what I'm trying to put out there. And I think that's not an unreasonable thing for them to do. So, yeah. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Later. <laughs>